Okie dokie. Hello, welcome uh, to Roulette Profit and Stop. This is the final day of the 36 day setup. Now, I did some, I, know, I had three spins this morning and uh, I got about 10 to 20, 15 pence or something like that. I can't remember how much it was now. Um, not much. Uh, 10 pence I got paid. So, day 36, the starting balance for this one is going to be 361, 85, 360, so that's, yeah, 10 pennies increase on that, with the freebies, um, I think that's right, 361.85, yeah it is, so now I need to make on top of that £2.70, which takes my balance up to 364.55 is my target. 36455. And this is the final day. I want to, at this point, I want to make people aware that I don't do this every day. This is just for um, content creation. This is. So this is not, this is out of my remit. This is what I, I don't normally do this every day. I will not bet every day doing this. This is just, um, just a bit of a something to see if I can achieve it using my tools. That's all this was. I would normally, now this is how I do it, I would allocate so many days per week and for so many weeks in a month to do this. So for example, I would probably do up to three or four days in a week of this and up to three or four weeks, well up to three weeks in a month. So I do, I do about three or four days per week and up to three weeks in a month, I would not do it every day, I would bre have breaks in between, I'll have a couple of days off, a few days off, I would not do this continually, all the time, from day one to day 36, it's not something I I want to be doing really, I'd prefer to take breaks in between, you know, take a break from gambling, because if you do it every day, it just gets a bit monotonous, and you just, you know, it's not good for you, so, I just get bored of it to be fair so um yeah so it's best for the way that i like to do it is i do i do what i do about three days worth stop like take about a four day break and then come back do four days take a break for about three days come back do about four days take a break for three days come back do about three days take a break for four days come back that's pretty much what i do so i split it up into three or four days and have three or four days breaks in between and that's what i i did years ago and that's because i had time uh to do that so the days i weren't working i would jump on this so the three or four days i wasn't working in a week i'll be jumping on this and then that's how i would split it up so for example um weekends you just do saturday sunday and if you're working Monday to Friday, just come on Saturday, Sunday. That's how I would do it. Because then you're not focusing purely on gambling. You, this is just a bit of a bit of fun outside of work, basically. And that's what it's meant to be. And that's what it's uh, targeted as from the casino side. A bit of fun. So, and entertainment. Anyways, final setup. Here we go. Enough of me waffling on. What I'm going to be using on this setup. To try and get my balance, my final balance up to 364.55. That's £2.70 profit. My daily profit target. Um, currently, my profit is at 292.20. I withdraw everything now. I'm at 292.20 profit. Purely based on roulette alone. Plus, I've had extra wins outside of that from the free, the freebies I get from this casino, which are fantastic. Anyway. So, I'm going to minimise or get rid of this uh, sheet. I'll bring it back. Hopefully, once I've achieved profit. So I'm going to use the Quadrant Roulette tool here. We've updated the Quadrant Roulette tool recently. Uh, I was asked to add in a double zero, so we've done that. So I'm playing a single zero, so I'm going to click on single zero. I'm going to input the history of numbers from this table from right to left into this tool. And then I'm going to have a look at where I can place my bets. Now, I only need to get one hit on this setup in order to get into profit um, to tick that box of achieving my target and completing this series 
um, 34, 33, 30, number 7, number 14, 0. Right, so I look for a two point, a three point difference between the white boxed corner numbers. So I'm looking for the two highest values, 5 and 4 are the two highest in the white boxes, and that's only a one point difference. I also look for the same in the black boxes in the middle. So I'm looking for a two point difference between the highest, which is always in orange, and the, the next highest. So five and three is a two point difference. I'm looking for a three point difference. So four and two is a two point, five and five is no points. But that's how I play it. You don't have to play it like I'm doing. If you see other opportunities where you can jump on and get your hit and stop, you know, fantastic. For me, I like to wait for a three-point difference because that's kind of kind of consistent enough for me um, for me to get my hits. You've also got the tracking value with a, of 13 misses in a row. It's going to highlight any quadrant yellow if it misses for 13 spins in a row, which you can also adjust up and down the scale. So I've got five and three, which is two points, and six and five, which is one point. So I need a three point difference between any of the either the white boxed corners or the black box centered one or the other. And the little white balls on all the numbers are showing what numbers have already been out. These are the numbers that have been out. So you can look at the pattern of where the balls land in and think, well, OK, well, it's landing around this area. You could just go with the trend or you could go against it where the, the gaps are. Whatever. 26. Right, we've got 7 and 5, which is 2. 6 and 4, which is also 2. 7, 5, 6, 2. So my bet will be 4 neighbours. Neighbours are by 4. So increase your neighbour number setting. So we're going to be using the racetrack to place the bets. We've got 10 numbers in quadrant 1, 0 to 22. And you've got 9 numbers in quadrants 2, 3 and 4. Because you've got an odd number of uh, numbers on the wheel. An odd value of numbers on the wheel. Um, one of them has to be a bigger value. Number 10. Not as manipulated. Anyways, 5 and 3 is 2, 7, 5, 2. So it's still two points difference. Once I get the three point difference, that's when that's when my trigger point is to place a bet. I found that three points difference seems to work really well. So when I was testing this out, um, I had quite a lot. Of I had pretty su a lot of success doing the following the hot numbers like this quadrant one and quadrant four. Hot and, hot and cold, basically. Seven showing me the most commonly hitting quadrant. 23. And the the black number one shows me the most spins that I've, uh, I've missed in a row. So quadrant four has missed for six spins in a row. And quadrant one's hit seven times total. Not in a row, but total in those 19 spins that we've given it so far. So the corner white box count the total hits um, overall and the inner black box counts how many spins in a row that it's missed for. Fifteen. So we've got seven and three, that's a four point difference. So I've got quadrant, quadrant four is the bet here. So one neighbour by four. Fifty pence bet. Now if this hits one of these numbers, 9 through to 5, 1 with 4 pockets either side, 9 numbers in total, 50 pence stake, costing me £4.50. I'll get £13.50 profit on this single hit, which will get me to my target. I only need to make £2.70 profit. This will give me £13.50, and boom, that's just hit straight away. So that's my target. That's just giving me £13.50 profit hitting on that spin. Taking my balance up to 375.35. So I've just used the quadrant roulette tool to achieve that. I'm now going to bring up the sheet, which is uh, here 375.35.
there we go so that's the end of that so i've, I've just made in um 36 days using purely the roulette tools alone which i've been trying to demonstrate um i've also been trying to demonstrate a hit and run setup where you get into profit and you stop and you can build a balance doing just simply that if you make your daily targets low enough for your gameplay you can achieve those targets this is what i've tried to show and share on this on this series so i started with the balance of 25 pound i deposited that and I've made, purely based on roulette alone, £305.70. I've actually made more than that because I've got some free spins out of this throughout these 36 days. Um, so each of these green boxes are showing the profits from every tool I've played in my arsenal for playing against roulette, basically. And I've been able to get into profit for 36 days straight. So... You know, my daily average was £8.49, so I could have increased that, but it's best to make your daily target as low as possible, achievable as possible. That's the idea. If you make your targets as achievable as possible for your gameplay type, where you can get one hit or two hits to get to your targets, then you will achieve your targets. If it's taking you three, spin, uh, three wins or four wins to get to that target, you're going to struggle to get there. You only need to get one or two hits to get to your target and stop. If you if you if you're taking your three or four hits or more, you're going to really struggle to get there. So that's in my opinion anyway. So 30570. I'm going to show you now the tools that I use and how often I use them. I'm just going to input the uh, quadrant 1350, wasn't it? So quadrant um, 13.5 plus the 72.5, 86 pounds on that. Just make sure it's. Uh, is that there we go so yeah so these are the tools i used rps quadrant missing section airball 69 hot cold balance builder triangle 8 i actually made from free spins 69 pounds 65 pence so this casino gave me 69 65 um i used the rps tool six times quadrant six times missing section six times airball 69 five times Hot and cold five times, balance builder seven times, and that's is that's uh, quite that's interesting that because normally that's a positive. Seven times for balance builder, five times for triangle. Eight. Again, these two usually do better than that, but you can see it in black and white here or in colour uh, that um, it was a a fail there on those two. Um, but the the outstanding winner is the RPS roulette tool uh, with one hundred and forty six seventy returned. Quadrant 86, which is decent. Missing section 5220, which is also pretty good. Airwall 694380. And hot and cold, £9.90. Uh, balance builder, minus 1390, which is, to be fair, it's not a lot of money to lose on. But it's a loss. And same with triangulate, 19, minus 19. Again, not a lot of money to lose on, having spent, you know, um, seven seven goals, uh, seven days, seven uh, five days of or five goals, seven goals over the 36. So that's pretty good. I'm quite comfortable and happy with that. But they're the tools in order of um, which was the best performer, if you wanted to know, on this series. Uh, so RPS, I know it costs the most to use that, but that's the one that I got the most wins on. That's the one that I used the combo bets to try and build my balance with, and that's where, that's where the money came from from that. Quadrant Roulette, that's pretty decent. That's fairly new. That's one of the newest roulette tools. Uh, that I've been using. Uh, missing section is always pretty, pretty good. Quite consistent. That one missing section. That's the cheaper version of the RPS. Um, Airwall six nine. That can be pretty good. Um, takes a while to set that up, but it can be pretty good. Hot and cold. Uh, I've had quite a lot of success with that over the years. Balance builder. I've had really good success with. That was the first one I ever made, but it's showing that I've not done that well uh, on this one. And triangulate. And all I've had success with that, but that's showing negative on this one as well but that's how it is thanks for tuning in i hope you enjoyed the content i certainly did what i'm going to do with this balance now this 375 35 is going to whip the whole amount of that out which is what i would advise anybody to do just withdraw it all um you know and start from small you know 25 pounds the idea is basically what i'm trying to show and share on my channel is you don't have to deposit a massive amount of money to build a balance if you have, if you can search on the internet 
um, roulette strategies. There's loads, there's tons of them out there. You don't even have to use my tools. You can use whatever you want to use, right? Because whatever you find that works for you, if you can get a couple of units and you make your daily targets achievable so you can get your hit in either one or two spins, that's the kind of target you're looking to set yourself. You want to get a win within two, one or two wins for the for the strategy that you're using because if you can do that, you're not going to be far away from your target. And then once you've hit your target or got just past it, stop. Come back another day. Uh, but make sure you take breaks. This 36 days in a run, I didn't really want to go 36 without a break, but you should. I would have done this. I would have gone day one, day two, day three, stop, take a break, come back next week, four days, one, two, three, four, stop, take a break, come back next week, three days, one, two, three, stop, come back, take a break. You know, you want to be breaking it up. Don't. Don't do it continuously daily. Not a good idea. Because you get into a routine then. So you want to break up your routines. Break up your routine so you're not reliant on playing this all the time and getting into a, a routine of doing it. Because once you get into a routine, you know, it's difficult to get out of it. So make sure you just break it up and uh, mix up how many days you do it for before you stop and take a break. Anyways, thanks for tuning in. I successfully demonstrated I could take a balance using my roulette tools, um, you know, for 36 days straight from a £25 start. I've been doing this for years, um, not quite 36 days in a row. I usually do, like I say, three or four days, stop, take a break, come back next week. That's pretty much what I do. Uh, I usually do this over, well, the most I've ever done it over is 10 casinos. Um, and I only did that for a spell just to see if I could do it, and I did. Um, then I reduced it down to about seven to six or five casinos because I was making enough money just doing that. And I was building balances across multiple casinos. And that's how you can build a balance. Um, if you've got the right strategy, structure, daily target value is key. Um, just make your targets as, slow as, as low as possible, achievable as possible. If you make your targets difficult, you're not going to get them. Make them as easy as possible to achieve. Okay. Thanks for tuning in. If you like this content, do not forget to hit subscribe. It is free. Um, give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Also, make a comment if you liked it. If you want to see something different, let me know. in the. If you want to see something different, I'm going to withdraw all this money now. I'm starting again. I have just started um, a uh, £10 start, and I'm doing 17 bets. I'm going to do day two of that after this. Um, and then I'll do day three. Then I'll, I'm going to take a break from um, uploading con content and recording for a bit. And then I'll come back and do something else. But I'll read the chat and, uh, and comments and stuff. Yeah. So thanks again for your support. If you've watched this throughout the 36 day series, uh, it's been entertaining. I've enjoyed it. And uh, I've enjoyed reading the comments as well. Thanks for your support. Continued support. If other people are doing this, let me know in the comments below if you're doing it. And let me know how you're getting on with it and what your daily targets are and what your starting amount is, what your starting uh, bankroll is and what your daily targets are. And let me know what stake, what chip value you're placing bets at for your system that you're playing to get your daily target. Um, that'd be interesting to see as well in the comments. So let me know your, your starting amount, your bankroll, your daily target that you're setting yourself. Let me know what that is and what stakes you're playing at to try and achieve your daily target and then um, let me know how how you're doing thanks again for your time thanks for your support see you again soon